जय हिंद स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल स्टूडेंट्स लर्निंग बाय डूइंग इज द आइडिया दैट वी लर्न मोर व्हेन वी एक्चुअली डू द एक्टिविटी लर्निंग बाय डूइंग इनकरेजेस एक्टिव एंगेजमेंट विथ अवेलेबल मटेरियल्स एंड इट विल डेफिनेटली फोर्स यू टू वर्क हार्डर टू रिमेंबर द मटेरियल दस लर्निंग इज एन एक्टिव प्रोसेस एंड वी नेचुरली लर्न बाय डूइंग only knowledge that is used it tends to stick in our mind with that positive note students let's begin this particular session in this particular session we are going to discuss an activity or rather an experiment so as to determine the density of a given solid and in the process we will discuss the factors on which the density of the material of a body depends now students at first we need to make ourselves familiarize with the materials which we will be using during this activity this is the setup to find out the density of a given metallic body it is a cylindrical body made up of brass this is another body which we have considered and it is in the form of a small metallic bob and it is attached with the help of a thread its density can also be found now this is a graduated cylinder here the scale is provided so when water is filled in the cylinder then its volume can be easily measured with the help of this scale and students this is a spring balance and if we attach a mass then due to the spring action the mass of the body can be easily found so students using this setup what we are going to do is we are supposed to determine the density of the material of a given body and also in the process we'll prove the fact that density depends only and only upon the nature of material of the body it doesn't depend upon the shape or size of the body so basically density is a characteristic property of a substance it is an intensive property of matter and it is actually the relationship between mass of the substance and how much space that is volume it takes up so mathematically density of a body is given by mass of the body divided by its volume so that is how we define density mass per unit volume of a body is known as its density now students let us discuss the si and cgs unit of density now let's first concentrate on the si unit now students the si unit of mass is kg while that of volume is meter cube so the si unit of density would be kg divided by meter cube while the cgs unit of density it will be again mass divided by volume mass of a body in cgs is measured in gram and the volume of a body in cgs is measured in centimeter cube so the cgs unit is gram per centimeter cube so it can be written like this as well kg per meter cube that's the si unit while the cgs unit it's gram per centimeter cube okay students now let us understand the procedure of doing this particular experiment students these are the two measuring cylinders we are supposed to make use of any one of them and a measuring cylinder is actually a hollow glass cylindrical jar with a heavy flat bottom and having uniform cross section it is marked along its height it is a spring balance and it consists of a special spring enclosed in a metallic case having a slit cut at the center along the length of the spring and actually it measures the gravitational mass of the body now students you can see here 10 equal divisions it's equal to 25 grams so one division it will be equal to 2.5 gram thus 
the least count of the spring balance is 2.5 gram students least count of an instrument is actually the minimum measurement which an instrument can measure accurately also students you can check there is no error in the spring balance right the pointer is coinciding with the zero therefore the spring balance which we are using is free from any error initially we need to hang the spring balance on a clamp stand and then tie the metallic cylinder and suspend it on the hook of the spring balance the mass of the cylinder in air can be measured using the spring balance students we need to ensure that the eye should be at the same level as that of the pointer so the reading suggests that the mass of the cylinder is 25 grams now we need to make use of a measuring cylinder and fill it with water now students it is to be ensured that the metallic cylinder is clean and dry let us fill the water till 40 divisions students the eye should be at the same level as that of the lower meniscus of the water now let's determine the least count of the cylinder now students 10 divisions is equal to 10 ml therefore one division is equal to 1 ml so the least count of this graduated cylinder which we are using is 1 ml and the initial reading of the water level in the measuring cylinder is 40 ml now we will tie the metallic cylinder with thread and suspend it fully in water contained in the measuring cylinder definitely the level of water will rise up now we will try to note down this reading when the cylinder is completely immersed in water while noting down the reading it is to be ensured that the eye is at the same level as that of the water so it can be easily checked that the reading is 43 ml now students this is our observation table and it is for cylinder made up of brass first and foremost least count of the spring balance this we have discussed it is 2.5 g it is the minimum measurement which the spring balance can measure now mass of the metallic cylinder using spring balance we have determined it to be 25 g okay now the initial reading of the water level in measuring cylinder are considered to be v1 so it was 40 ml that was the initial reading right so it's in milliliter so it is 40 ml 1 milliliter is equal to 10 is to minus 3 liter final reading now when the cylindrical body was immersed in water then the water rises up so the new reading was found to be 43 ml so the volume of the water through which it rises on immersing the cylinder that will give us actually the volume of the metallic cylinder which will be v2 minus v1 so in this case 43 minus 40 so that is 3 ml and students as i have stated 1 ml it is equal to 1 cm cube so 3 ml may be written as 3 cm cube we are going to find the density in cgs unit so that's why i have converted volume in cm cube now students we will record the reading for three different observations right corresponding to 50 ml we get 53 ml the final reading so the volume of the body is found to be 3 cm cube and in the third case also we get the volume of the cylinder to be same as 3 cm cube actually we repeat our observation so as to minimize any error if any so let's take the average value so the volume of the metallic cylinder would be given by the average of volumes of these three readings right average means arithmetic mean which is sum of all the observations divided by total number of observations so here all the three readings are 3 3 3 so the sum of 3 plus 3 plus 3 divided by total number of observations is 3 so we get 3 cm cube so that's the volume of the cylindrical body under consideration which is made up of brass now students as we are aware the density of a body is defined as 
mass per unit volume so let's find out the density of this cylinder which is made up of brass right so it will be given by the density of material of the brass is given by mass divided by volume so mass as we have measured from the spring balance it is 25 gram right it's 25 gram so density would be 25 gram divided by the volume is found to be 3 cm cube so it is 3 cm cube so 25 by 3 that's i think 8 3 or 24 8.1033 gram per cm cube so that's the density of the material of the brass in case of cylindrical body. Now the same procedure is to be followed for the spherical metallic body. We need to tie the spherical body and suspend it on hook of spring balance. As you can see students, the pointer lies between 0 and 25. That is, it gives 5 divisions. One division it's equal to 2.5 gram. Therefore, 5 divisions, it would be 12.5 gram. So, the mass of the spherical body in air is 12.5 grams. Now, we need to suspend the spherical body in water contained in the measuring cylinder. Now, you can see the level of the water rises. So, initial reading was 40. Now, the meniscus of the water is between 41st and the 42nd division. So, it can be taken as 41.5. 5 milliliter. Now students, this is the observation table for a spherical bob made of brass. Now we are aware that the least count of the spring balance, it is 2.5 gram, right? So that's the least count. Now mass of the metallic bob, which is the spherical body, using the spring balance is measured to be 12.5 gram. This is the mass of the spherical bob in air. Now students, on immersing it in cylinder, obviously the level of water will increase. So the initial reading of the water in the measuring cylinder was 40 ml. And on immersing the bob inside water, the water rises up and the final reading was found to be 41.5 milliliter. So the difference between these two, that will give us the volume of the spherical body, right? So on immersing the body inside water, the level of the water rises up. So the difference in the volume, that will give us the volume of the body. 1.5 ml is equal to 1.5 centimeter cube. This I've already told you students, 1 milliliter is equal to 1 centimeter cube. Now proceeding in the same manner, we get these various readings, right? keeping the water level initially at 40, 50 and then 60. So as was done earlier, the mean volume of the spherical bob can be considered to be the average of these three obtained values, right? Average is again the sum of all the observations divided by total number of observations. So here 1.5, that's the first observation. Second is also 1.5 and third observation is also 1.5. So three observations, so divided by three. So we'll get 1.5 milliliter or centimeter cube. So that's the volume of the spherical bob. Now let's find out its density. Density students, as we are discussing, density of a body is mass of the body per unit its volume. So mass we have calculated with the help of spring balance. It's 12.5 and volume it is 1.5 centimeter cube. So density is mass divided by volume. So let's substitute the value over here. So it will be 12.5. It's in gram. 12.5 gram divided by 1.5 centimeter cube. So that's the unit in CGS. So it can be written as 125 divided by 15. So you can divide it by 5. So we get 25. Right. 25 divided by 3. So the density of the spherical body is found to be 8.33 gram per centimeter cube. 
and students this value is exactly same as that of the previous obtained value in case of cylindrical body so i have written the value of density of both the cylindrical body as well as the spherical body and in both the cases the result is found to be 8.33 g per cm3 now students let's discuss the third case so from the above two results what we conclude is that density of a given body does depend only upon the nature of its material now both the bodies which we have considered cylindrical and spherical both were made up of the same material that is brass so definitely density of the body would be same so density of a body depends only and only upon the nature of it depends upon the nature of material of the body so of what material it is made up of so in this case both the bodies are made up of brass so obviously the density of both the bodies found were exactly equal each being 8.33 g per cm3 so it verifies the fact that density depends only upon the nature of material and is independent of the shape or size of the body right so that's the conclusion students i sincerely hope students you have thoroughly enjoyed this particular session right keep watching my videos and don't forget to subscribe my channel and share the link of my channel with your friends and colleagues thank you students thank you for watching